Hello, I'm Minister Chad Ryden with the Church of Universal Suffrage. Some members have reached out to us with questions about how to start an organization that's legally recognized as a religion. So I'm going to explain how the Church of Universal Suffrage was founded. We will also answer any additional questions in the comments. So please leave comments, ask us questions. In accordance with federal rulings, the first thing your religion will need is sincerely held religious beliefs to be founded on. The Church of Universal Suffrage was founded on the sincerely held belief that all people are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with the right to life, liberty, suffrage, and the pursuit of happiness. The right to freedom of religion guarantees that the beliefs of your new religion can be anything, but it does need to be something you sincerely believe. Our church was initially founded in Tennessee, but this process will be very similar for every state. The state of Tennessee defines a religious institution as ecclesiastical or denominational organizations, churches, or established physical places for worship in this state at which nonprofit religious services and activities are regularly conducted and carried on, and also includes those bona fide religious groups which do not maintain specific places of worship. So to meet the legal definition of a religious institution, the Church of Universal Suffrage simply needed to register with the state as a nonprofit religious organization and hold regular religious services as a form of worship. On the Tennessee Secretary of State's website, you can find the nonprofit corporation charter form, which you can submit with a $100 filing fee to become officially registered with the state as a nonprofit religious organization. The filing fee differs by state, so some are as low as $5, while Tennessee is $100. However, you can officially register an organization in any state, regardless of if you live there. Once the registration form was approved, the Church of Universal Suffrage was then officially registered with the state of Tennessee as a non-profit religious organization and began to hold regular weekly Sunday service in meditation on the nature of voter suppression. Leading everyone in regular weekly group meditation is a form of worship, so our church then officially met the state's definition of a religious institution. Along with establishing a religion comes the authority to establish the official holidays of the religion. The Church of Universal Suffrage holds each U.S. Election Day as an official day of worship, so these days can be spent in celebration of our sacred right to vote. It also comes with the authority to ordain new leaders of your religion. However, be aware that some states do not allow you to ordain others online. Just look at your local laws. Probably a good idea for you to do that about everything. <laughs> at this point, there was nothing else that had to be done besides finding people interested in joining the church. The Church of Universal Suffrage did not have interest in obtaining donations or IRS recognition of tax-exempt status. But this is a simple process you can complete online as well. Once you have done all of this, congratulations, you are now officially the founder of a new religion. Consider starting a website and social media pages to help find new members and explain your beliefs. If anyone has any additional questions, let us know in the comments below. You can also find links to our website and social media pages in the description. Please like, subscribe, share this with your friends. May peace and suffrage be with you.